Thank you for watching Adopedia World videos. In this session we will learn about architecture of a DBMS. We will specifically see the three level architecture DBMS. The design of a DBMS depends on its architecture. It can be centralized or decentralized or hierarchical. The architecture of a DBMS can be seen either as single tier or multi tier. An N tier architecture divides the whole system into related but independent modules which can be independently modified, altered, changed or replaced. When we talk about one tier architecture, the DBMS is the only entity where the users directly use and interact with the DBMS. Any change that is done here will be directly done on the DBMS itself. Database designers and programmers normally prefer to use single tier architectures. If an architecture of a DBMS is two tier, then it must have an application through which the DBMS can be accessed. Programmers use two tier architecture where they access DBMS by the means of an application. Here the application tier is entirely independent of the database in terms of operation, design and programming. But our main focus will be on three tier architecture. A three tier architecture separates its tier from each other based on complexity of the user and how they use the data present in the database. The generic three tier architecture. Let us understand about all the parts of this generic three tier architecture. First is the presentation tier application tier and the database tier. End users operate on this tier and they know nothing about the existence of database beyond this layer when we talk about the presentation tier. At this layer multiple views of the database can by the application. All views are generated by application that resides in application tier. Multiple tier database architecture is highly modifiable as almost all of its components are independent and can be changed independently. When we talk about the application tier, at this tier the application resides or the application server resides. For a user the application tier presents as an abstracted view of the database. End users are unaware and they do not have any reach beyond this towards the data. On the other hand, database tier is not aware of other users beyond the application tier. Let us talk about the database tier. At this tier, the database resides along with its query processing languages. We also have the relation that defines data and their constants at this level. Let us understand more about this three tier architecture. The architecture is divided into three general levels, internal, conceptual and external. Three important characteristics of the database approach are first that the installation of the program and data has to be there, second the support of multiple view has to be there, third is the use of a catalog to store database description that is called schema. In this slide we specify an architecture for database systems called the three schema architecture which was proposed to help achieve and visualize these characteristics. We can see in the illustrated figure the purpose is to separate the user application and the physical database. The internal level has an internal schema which describes the physical storage of the database. The internal schema uses a physical data model and describes complete detail of data storage and accesses the path. Second is the conceptual level. The conceptual level has an conceptual schema which describes the structure of the whole database for a group of users. The conceptual schema hides the detail of a physical storage structure and concentrates on describing the entities data types, relationships, users and other things. Third is the external or view level. That includes a number of external schemas or user views. Each external schema describes the part of a database that particulars uses 
then user group is interested in and hides the rest of the database from that user group a high level data model and an implementation data model can be used at this level let us see the advantages of two tier architecture it is easy to understand as it directly communicates with the database requested data can be retrieved very easily and very quickly when there is less number of users easy to modify because any changes that are required directly requests can be sent to the database and also it is easy to maintain when there are multiple requests it will be handled in a queue and there will be not any mismatch let us disadvantages of a two tier architecture firstly it would be time consuming when there is huge number of users all requests will be queued and handled one after another and hence it will not respond to multiple users at the same time the architecture would be little cost effective let us understand about the advantages of a three tier architecture first is it is easy to maintain and modify any changes requested will not affect any other data in the database application layer will do all the validations second is improved security since there is no direct access to the database data security is increased there is no fear of mishandling the data application layer filters out all the malicious actions and then we get a good performance since this architecture cache the data once retrieved there is no need to hit the database for each request this reduces the time consumed for multiple request and hence enables the system to respond at the same time let us see the disadvantages of a three tier architecture it is complex in its structure and nature and hence it makes it difficult to understand secondly it is costly not even to buy but also to run in the next video we will learn about hierarchical database structures thank you